Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The last part of the SBL webinar here. I am Hussein Kazi and I will provide you here support related to the task 4 of this webinar of this case study. The case study name NCCP SBL March, March June 2021 case. Now what inside the session? The session is particularly about the task 4. I am assuming that you people have already read the complete exhibits of the question. In fact, you people already engaged with uh, Mr. Kashif Kamran related to that case, related to that case study and already done the task 1, 2, 1, 2 and 3. And this is about task 4. So you have a clear understanding about the task, uh, about all the exhibit of the case. So here the case is NCCP, particularly for this requirement exhibit five and seven it's very important exhibit five about the risk management exhibit seven related to newspaper article okay so what inside the session what i will uh, discuss the things accordingly number one related to task four i will provide to guide you what the right direction for your answer Whenever you are planning your answer, what should be the right direction? Number one. Number two. Number two. I will provide you the key points of the answer. We will discuss completely. Number three. I will provide you the student caliber suggested answer not the model answer that's called the suggested answer and of course at last the fourth one i will also discuss the or we will also here analyze the examiner report the examiner report you also consider or analyze the situation examiner report specifically we will discuss about where the examiner is not happy related to the weak part of the solutions weak part of the solutions okay so let's start about the direction of about a right direction for your answer number one we have to the first very important thing read the requirement very carefully and answer the required answer your question or draft your answer as per the examiner requirement as per the examiner requirement okay come on number one the ceo is concerned about nccp's exposure to the cyber security risk okay and has instructed the operation directors to both the sponsor to both sponsor and manage a project to improve cyber security at nccp so here the important point is about the topic cyber security number one number two it's something about the project management where the project is sponsored is a concept and project management is a concept the operations director has limited experience of cyber security and here the ceo is actually uh, instructed to the operation directors related to cyber security cyber security matters as a project management but concern point is that the operation director has limited experience of cyber security and, and has asked you to help prepare a response to CO which justify why he should be the project sponsor, not the project manager. So we, we provide or draft a solution here with this not straight answering about the project management and cyber security matters but also we have to plan the answer according to the requirement that why here 
for the operational director project sponsor should be more suitable must be more suitable rather than as a role of project manager so that's an important point examiner has a specific comment that the understanding of the requirement is a very key so don't be in a rush don't be in a hurry about the understanding of the requirement ask yourself during the exam have i read the requirement completely clearly precisely and already understand the requirement because answer according to the requirement answer according to the requirement is a key for the success of the exam okay number 2 this is the background number 2 a part draft section of a report so here section draft section of a report draft section of the report to present board which explain the need of cyber security this is the first requirement prepare a section of the report where we have to mention we have to explain the need of cyber security at ncgp and recommend and recommend actions the board should take to meet cyber security responsibilities explain need for cyber security the first part of the requirement number 2 recommend the actions to meet the cyber security responsibility your answer must not be generic but must be specific professional marks are available demonstrating commercial acumen skills here the professional requirement about commercial acumen okay and highlighting the key benefit to ncpp nccp for of cyber security and recommending practical actions should be take action the board should take so here we have to mention the benefits of the cyber security the very important thing and the action points as well and the action points number 2 this is the 10 marks number 2 b part draft an email on behalf of operation director draft an email to send ceo which explains why it would be appropriate for him him here for operational director to be project sponsor but not the but not the sponsor and project manager for the cyber security project so why the operational director must be as project sponsor not playing the role for both the sponsor and the project manager that's a point so this is what about the question requirement you must have to ask yourself have you already understand the requirement precisely clearly if yes then go towards the planning of the question if i say if i say that i'm going to plan up i'm going to here to plan the question the very first thing the number one thing you have to clearly understand that plan your answer according to professional marks according to technical marks so here 10 marks 10 marks technical 4 marks professional professional marks 4 technical marks 10 okay now what inside the professional marks what inside the professional marks the very important thing is a format very important thing is a format and here the format is about report number 1 and number 2 what about the tone here the tone is about commercial acumen commercial acumen these two things are important here format is report and the tone must be commercial acumen you must have to aware that commercial acumen include the practical consideration 
practical consideration whatever you are delivering that must be practical specifically about the case or i must say that use inside the information of the case or i i always uh, share my students a wording that based on the case study commercial acumen means whatever you are advising must not be generic the case specific and be practical be practical be practical for example here the case about the cyber security and nccp um, is a charitable organization so there's the question is this a bigger charitable organization or smaller or medium if the nccp is a smaller uh, charitable organization and you suggest that you suggest any costly recommendation you suggest any costly recommendation about the cyber security that's misfit it's not practical for example you suggest them that appoint it director create a mega infrastructure maybe that's not practical so use inside information what inside the case and then apply accordingly use external information as well external real world examples real world examples one moment use real world examples it's possible real world examples you can use the real world examples but do remember and as well you have to identify some internal and whenever you are working here you have to mention internal and external constraints internal and external constraints but one important thing be cautious sometimes students sometimes students are mentioning some external real world examples and um, providing too much information so i must say that don't include irrelevant real world examples always be specific to the case be specific to the case not using the any external information be specific to the case and according to the marks so this is for the first mind that profession marks i will i will opt according to the report aspects according to the professional tone that is commercial acumen now the very important sir what about the technical marks what about the technical marks yes related to technical marks you must have to understand the understand the requirement very precisely and always always plan your answer execute your answer according to the requirement for example requirement a draft section of a report to present to the board which explain the need for cyber security need for cyber security and recommend actions so number one number one whatever you need to plan that is about the need for cyber security so this is what about five marks this is about five marks and recommend actions that's also about five marks so you must be clear that 
yes i have to very much specific according to the requirement so my 10 marks i will split my 10 marks in two parts the need for cyber security and the recommend actions now what inside what inside the need for cyber security what inside the need for cyber security how you will drop your answer i strongly suggest for this five marks you must have to start the thing if there is a concept what is the need of something within the case so first of all whatever the topic about you have to explain it you have to explain what is cyber security always start from this side what is cyber security number one so this is what about a generic and you can connect with the case accordingly then you start nccp use uses about the technology nccp uses technology here how the nccp how the company use the technology and then specific to and if they are using technology so what they are facing the cyber security what they are facing the cyber security so logical answer what is cyber security cyber security belongs to technology if it belongs to technology so they use the technology and nccp currently have the exposure about this risk that's the first thing then you have to work out because uh, here the answer about why they need cyber security if they are currently in a risk of cyber security you have to mention your answer the implications because this is about implication means justifications of insufficient cyber security system what are the implications so i must say that your answer must must be within this within this logical structure your answer must be with this logical structure your answer must be with this logical structure if if i say that for this five marks if you are going to start the answer if you are going to start the answer that what is about the cyber security so you have to mention a very simple statement cyber security is the is actually is actually the protection of using technology very simple and using technology by um, individuals or organizations or companies and that is actually the production of using technology and data from unauthorized access or attack this is a simple definition be, gen be generic and you can connect the things with the case because the answer must not be in a journal you have to connect with the case nccp uses technology and it is at risk of a cyber attack
so this is very simple to start always start a concept start your answer in a very very straight matter then you can work out accordingly and nccp use technology yes they are using the technology for example teaching courses online teaching courses for example administration for example website so they use the technology so if they use the technology now they are they have exposure of the cyber attacks and they have exposure about the cyber attack they need the cyber security But what they are doing current, what they are currently doing, it's mentioned they, with the case study, they are using the passwords, just, just a basic system of the passwords. But this is not, this is not satisfactory. But you just not mention in the question this is not satisfactory you have to justify your answer why it's not satisfactory because hackers you have to mention hackers can interrupt your systems or circumvent password more Ruber set of controls, this Ruber term used in the model answer. Ruber set of controls required here, required by NCCP. So you have to justify your answer in a logical manner. Why in this case study need cyber security? First explain cyber security, then NCCP use technology, then they are in under the uh, currently the working they are doing is not satisfactory why and what can happen and then you have to work out for this five what implications of insufficient cyber security system what implications for example if hackers enter or if some cyber attack happens what will happen? You can start with very basics. For example, hackers can alter website because you have to present the report. Huh? This all the answer must be in a format of the report. You have to present to the uh, management about these things. About uh, you have to present the report that management must have to realize what. What will be the repercussions? What will be the implications? Fraud. Maybe hardware. Damage by through cyber attacks. For example, through virus attacks. NC, you have to mention NCCP current cyber security, CA cyber security. It's only about the passwords. It's not satisfactory. It's not satisfactory. They really need NCCB really need for cyber security system. No matter, I'm just mentioning the thing, 
NC, no matter in front of board, you have to mention no matter NCCP having a small size. charitable organization we cannot ignore the exhibit 7 here the media media facts that today is the world to in the recent times hackers spotting to specifically to uh, small size charitable organizations and even we are small we have some legal responsibilities to protect the data of all stakeholders like donors, donors money, staff data, etc. Do donors data, donors, donors money, staff data. Otherwise, the importance is that otherwise we will find, management will find liable for this type of irresponsibility for any loss. Now understand the thing. I have I just not mentioning the uh, base structure of the question, but also mentioning how to draft, how to develop the mindset related to the question. A logical sequence, the answer, your logical sequence means your requirement is the need of cyber security and your role here to make up, to make a report and present in front of board. So realization why it's important. So first, why need cyber security? Number two, sorry, first, what is cyber security? Number two, NCCP, the company using technology, so they have the exposure. What they are current doing, it's not sufficient. It's not satisfactory. The implications may happen like this. And then conclude accordingly. If you ignore that, you will be responsible. You will be penalized accordingly. So what the action number two, that's we have done huh? the need. Now, sir, the point is that the recommendation, recommendations, So what the recommendations? What the actions by the board? What I personally think you have to develop your mindset. Number one, cyber security, cyber security as priority. Number two, expert you need to take expert advice because we are we need to take some expert advices because we are we are not expert here how to develop a system of the uh, cyber security then cyber security clear policy clear policy develop the policy and communicate effectively to the complete organizations and also the contingency plan Contingency means you can develop a system of the cyber security, but this risk cannot be 100% eliminated. So you must have to develop some contingency plan. Sir, if we are working on it, what should, what should be the answer with the key points? For example, what we will write related to uh, the uh, with respect to the recommended actions, what we should write uh, the cyber security as priority. You have to mention with respect to the case or with respect to the requirement, it's something about the company wants to develop the system and involving the operational director only. 
so what i personally think you have to mention that it is not the sole responsibility of finance director if the if the company consider it's a sole responsibility of the finance director that's they are considering in the least manner no all directors must involve must involve all directors must involve for this for this important role for this corporate oh sorry for this cyber security for for the cyber security system implementations and consider as priority the actions must be reflect actions like you have to the board meeting the board meeting must incorporate this cyber security system as a part of agenda agenda with board meetings you have to mention this so first thing as priority you can write the things accordingly expert advice directors are not the expert the technology expert in this case reflecting lack of practical exposure and we need to realize that there with the technology world with the technology world there is a rapid change in the technology so it's better to take a expert advice candidates try to consider this point we are not here just throw the knowledge we two things need to consider point must be relevant to the case number one and whatever 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 you are writing the point must be justified with the case expert advice the heading is just a knowledge but connect with the case justify with the case is very important here directors don't have the expertise here it's a fact of the case of the nccp okay number one cyber security policy you have to mention number one you need to establish you need to establish and clearly establish a cyber security policy and clearly communicate clearly communicate policy like password controls sub controls some internet websites restrictions so th like this policy this type of policy need to establish and also need to clearly communicate clearly communicate to all staff and stakeholders for example the donors use the our website as well and 
the cyber security policy must be established and also communicate its importance as well because if user realizing the importance then the user will implement or obey the orders accordingly last one the contingency plan no cyber security no cyber security controls are 100 percent secure so we need to make nccb need to make or has need to develop contingency plans this might include protocols for backing for data backups and retrieving data and retrieving data this is what about the action point the action point and this is what about the mindset I have uh, the mindset you should develop and I have provided you the support accordingly that's what how to develop the answer accordingly yes the complete suggested answer you will get after the session no worries about that this is what about the suggested answer this is a suggested answer whatever the mention with the red it's actually the key points the details are in black one okay so all these things accordingly so this is what about this 10 part then uh, 10, uh, 10 marks question related to the task 4 but the last one the last one the very important point the examiner report examiner report so we need to consider the examiner report as well huh? a very important these are the highlighted points you need to read in recommending actions in recommending actions stronger candidates demonstrated an understanding of practical actions for the board would be linked to the ownership policy and contingency plan and importance of regular reviews in the light of new technology but the weaker answer here this is important a largely generic this is the point you need to ignore in the exam don't make a statement that's only generic in explaining the need and focus on operational control and recommendations for example firewalls regular change passwords these are generic your answer must be relevant to the case or whatever you throw the knowledge must be connect with the case moreover key weakness key weakness includes a failure to consider the need of stakeholders of the nccp in terms of their expectation of the production of data and the liability that would fall into the nccp of only lost data that's the point we have already considered that develop the answer in a logical manner conclude with that if you are not realizing the importance of cyber security actually you will be responsible or liable for the loss of data not providing action focus at the board some action for example changing password regularly although sensible would not be the main concern for the board who need to consider strategic actions candidates are reminded read the requirements carefully to make sure they are answered the question that has been said here the examiner wanted to say that password change is not the only action point it's not the only action point 
some more strategic action point you have to incorporate for example in policy makings contingency plan expert advice because if the question is about that make a extract of the report which will present to the board so the action point with respect to the board is only about changing the password no something more than that so your answer caliber must be matched with the requirement or the examiner expectation okay failing to demonstrate understanding charitable focus and size of nccb commercial acumen for it that is what i was discussing early part of the session for example recommending appointment of it director and outsourcing to specialist firm are not really commercially viable for charity that has potential financial difficulties so commercial acumen means be practical and be sensible if we are advising here to, to make a mega infrastructure of the cyber security they are uh, small charitable organization or facing some uh, problems of the finance then how it's possible that they will be able to uh, get the finance for this huge cyber security system seeking advice is should should be sensible is a sensible short term solution and a long term commitment would be inappropriate overall some candidates achieve good professional marks for this question some were able to demonstrate sound level of commercial acumen showing reasonable understanding both organization and wider factor impacting on the need of cyber security and recommending actions were relevant the candidates that made good use of two relevant exhibits that's 5 and 7 best able to bring a wide range of factor specifically affecting key stakeholders candidates who attained low professional marks this is important which you need to avoid largely did so because they presented limited or generic answer which often descriptive and unapplied to the ncsb not just throw the knowledge relevant knowledge specific to the case and justify your answer therefore fail to show adequate commercial awareness so that is what about the four part a four part a now the question about four part b four part b read it carefully draft an email on behalf of operations director to send to to a ceo which explains why it would be appropriate for him to be a project sponsor but not both sponsor and manager for the cyber security project this is a question 6 marks question not particularly mention any professional not particularly mention any uh, professional skills professional marks exist email writing but not about any tone but here we should make an email on behalf of project manager or for the project manager what should the what should the project manager should write in the email to justify that the operational director role must be as project sponsor not as project manager or not as both project manager and project sponsor this is what about the question so number 1 come on the very important thing what is about the professional marks here the professional marks here is about format and format related to email only email only no professional tone 
टेक्निकल मार्क्स रिलेटेड टू ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल डायरेक्टर्स रोल एज प्रोजेक्ट स्पॉन्सर not project manager or both or both the format is about email writing okay you know very well how to write the email accordingly and definitely if someone going to uh, write the email so first of all the startup startup here i am mentioning that introduction para what the introduction para number 1 i have to mention about the context of the question about the context of the question here i will mention the paragraph with the context of the question the context is very much important i will write or initiate the paragraph which which i have i have to mention why not appropriate means justify my answer why not appropriate this email is about that it's not appropriate that i i as operation director i should work as dual role project manager and project sponsor first why not that i have to hold both both responsibility first of all this email is about the first thing is this and then why i most suited for project sponsor rather than project manager so that is what me and kashyap kamran also say, always says that read the requirement very carefully and ask yourself have you already understand the requirement very much clearly this is what the requirement this is what the requirement and this should be mentioned in your first paragraph for example the first paragraph you have to mention that <coughs> for example you have to start email mentioning these contacts as requested please see below content for your email to the ceo regarding your role as project sponsor and project manager the first para further to our discussion about cyber security project i would like to recommend why it would not be appropriate for me to act both project sponsor and manager and why in my executive role i would be most suited to being the project sponsor rather than project manager so first thing is very much clear this email is about this two things here and then what should be the main context of the email main context of email and this is you will definitely whatever you mention above you have to justify for example you have to mention first the issue is about corporate governance covid corporate governance perspective for example you must say no single person no single person who secures the role as control 
the resources and then spend spend it and report to use that resources that means if i am a project manager and the project sponsor both brand ambassador i am the brand ambassador of the project and i am also the uh, project manager so all the responsibility belongs to me so it's not actually proper segregation of the duties it's compromising about corporate government's perspective role must be separate role must be separate project sponsor role you have to mention project sponsor role as ambassador sets the overall directions you have to mention sets the overall directions and ambassador sets the direction and the direct here if i am operation director so i i am at the hierarchy at upper level and also able to communicate with other senior leaders or senior executives if i so that is the role of ambassador where is the project manager is operational in charge is operational expert work with project team follow or monitor the targets sorry follow the directions for actual deliverables sorry these are the roles so these roles must need to split that's the key point then you have to mention why i most suited because it's only the six marks so three marks for this and three marks for this why i most suited the project sponsor not first of all you have to develop a background this should be split should be split it then why why the order, um, operation director must be as a project sponsor as operational director i have seniority capability authority to do project sponsor role more effectively why because organizational director and project sponsor project sponsor board will aware because i am a operation, operation director and a part of the board so as senior as capable as authorized 
I can do much better role for the project sponsor because I'm the part of the board level. So board will aware as well about all corporate, sorry, cyber security issues. And furthermore, I am or operational director. Okay. So I can be a, uh, I can develop a good brand image as a higher hierarchy. But I don't have in-depth knowledge, lacked in depth knowledge about cyber security technology and as operational put as cyber security the operation level task. I don't have any exposure and would be difficult to manage operationally. These are the points that you need to incorporate. That the points you need to incorporate. So you can justify your six marks answer accordingly. Format of the letter and you have to obey accordingly. Uh, this is what about the suggested answer that I will provide you accordingly. No matter that the contacts that start and that ended all these things. Current regards. Now the final point. Sir, what the examiner point here? Read it. Number one. The task was generally not well answered. Okay, why? So you must be care careful about this. Much of this because many candidates had not read question carefully. Not read carefully. Not able to perform the answer accordingly. The answer required an explanation why operational director should not take both the role of project sponsor and manager many candidates able to describe the role of project sponsor project manager but made no reference why operation manager should not take two roles so you just mentioned read carefully here the question is about that why not to hold both positions stronger candidates did explain this need of suggestion of the roles expertise required to do the hands on role to do the hands on role of project manager and operation director lacked and the time consuming nature of both roles could put the project at risk if they did not separated weaker candidates fail to address the question requirement key weakness incomplete answer the complete answer sir what what do you mean by or what here the means about the incomplete answer? Incomplete answer means we have to work out for these two. If someone only mentioned the role of PM and role of PS, that's incomplete. The question requirement is this, why it should be separated and why operation director suits for PS. This is the examiner requirement. Incomplete answer which only covered the role of project sponsor and project manager would, with no attempt to explain why roles should be undertaken by two different peoples. That's a point. Candidate, that is all over on our side of the website. Oh, sorry, our side of the webinar. Task 4 is done. I will provide you the video, the suggested answer and the extract of this report as well. If you have any concern, you can ask me accordingly. Thank you very much. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum.